You may be wondering, or you may have heard about colon cleansing, whether it's good for you, whether you should do it, or whether it's a thing that should be implemented in your everyday life to help out with your bowel issues, get rid of toxins. Well, in this video today, I will talk to you about my opinion about whether you should do a colon cleanse or not. Let's be in. <music> So for those guys who are joining for the first time, my name is Dr. Samir Islam, and yes, I am a poop doctor. I want you to think of me as your poop guru. I practice here in Lubbock, Texas. Comment down below on the original replay or on the rebroadcast about where you are coming from and where you're watching from, the, where you're watching the video from as well. I love to hear where my audience is from. But my passion is to give you guys tips and tricks to help out with your gut health. If you're new to these video series, I do a lot of videos on education. Uh, product reviews, gut health, and medical health as well. And I try to answer your questions during these videos as well. So at any point in time in the video, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button, and make sure you can follow me to get more of these videos. But in today's video, we will talk about what exactly is a colon cleanse, where did the idea of a colon cleanse come from, does it actually work, and then my review about whether you should do a colon cleanse or not, and what are some other alternatives for a colon cleanse that maybe you can do instead that should help out with some of your gut issues. So what is a colon cleanse? Oh my gosh, I hear this question from a lot of patients virtually every single day. People ask me, do I need to clean out my colon? Do I need to get rid of toxins? Do I need to do some sort of cleanse just to make myself feel better and to get rid of all the bad things that are there? So what the thought is, is that there may be some alternative medical therapies that therapies that are out there to get rid of toxins in your body. Toxins that may accumulate either from eating things that are bad for you from either not pooping a lot, having constipation, or just overall health to make you feel better as well. And the idea is that when you cleanse yourself, you're getting rid of all the toxins, getting rid of all the poop, getting rid of everything. And by doing that, you can actually cleanse your body to get rid of things. It claims, no quotation marks here, claims to solve constipation, jumpstart weight loss, and also to reset your gut. Now I obviously you can see I put the claims in quotation marks because when it comes down to it, there's virtually no clinical evidence to suggest that a colon cleanse works or that actually you need to do a colon cleanse to get rid of toxins, to reset your gut, and to make yourself feel better. So where did this idea come from? So there have been some mythical benefits for a colon cleanse, going back years, millennium, all the way back into the ancient Egyptians a long, long time ago. And there's this idea of whether you can um, have some sort of substance to get rid of the bad toxins in your body. What the idea thought of back a long time ago, millenniums ago, which has persisted even to today, is that rotting stool and improperly digested stool or food can cause intoxication within your body, cause inflammation to occur, cause you to feel bad, causing you to feel, have all sorts of gut issues and medical health issues as well. So in the past, things have been used, including herbal supplements, over-the-counter laxatives, maybe even enemas, and some people actually stick water up their bottom to cleanse themselves to get rid of toxins. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think about that, and whether you think this is something that you have heard other people do or not. This idea has been around for millenniums, for a long time, about whether uh, we should do this to help kind of get rid of things going on inside our body. So, does the colon cleanse work? And I can tell you, A, it may or may not work, but the practical benefits, the reported health benefits from a colon cleanse has not been shown to be clinical evident. And more importantly, there are some harms with doing a colon cleanse as well. It's not as safe as what people may think. It can lead to abscesses or developing a really bad pocket of infection inside your GI tract, which is a very hard thing to deal with, which can lead to possibly surgery. Number two, it can lead to a tear in the colon, which is an immersion procedure. You don't want to have a tear in your colon. When you have a tear in the colon, all that poop gushes into your body and causes a really bad problem like sepsis or where your body just shuts down. And it can, this can happen actually more often than not when you have a colon cleanse. And lastly, it can lead to changes in your electrolytes, your potassium and sodium get out of whack. That can lead to heart failure, kidney disease, cause you to faint, and maybe even cause you to die as well. So a colon cleanse is not just a safe thing that you should do or can do 
to get rid of toxins? A, because you really don't need it. Your body gets rid of toxins. That's why you have a colon to get rid of it. But number two, or B, there's actually harms that can occur with a colon cleanse as well. It's an it really is an unnecessary procedure. You don't have to get it done. You don't have to do it. And if you're trying to cleanse yourself, get rid of that idea with that a colon cleanse can help get rid of toxins in your body. That's exactly what your body does. It's what your liver does, and what it it's what it normally does to help out with your everyday health. So what can you do instead? If you're wondering about toxins, if you're having constipation, if you're trying to get rid of some of the inflammation in your body, what can you do that is safe, natural, and actually works? Number one, eat high food fibers. There's a lot of excellent data that's out there that really does suggest that having a high fiber diet has a lot of benefits, whether it's IBS, or bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, colon health, heart health, and overall health. Having a high fiber diet is a really extreme benefit for you. And the recommended, recommended fiber intake that we have can range between 25 and 30 grams of fiber per day. Number two, avoid the crap. Avoid sugar foods and processed foods because this will cause inflammation. This actually causes the toxins. If you want to get rid of toxins in your body, if you want to get rid of the bad stuff, eliminate the things that are causing it. Sugar, processed foods, fatty foods. Get rid of that. I can almost guarantee you, you're going to feel a lot better. Number three, Increase your fruits and vegetables. These fruits and vegetables hopefully can increase not only the fiber, but they have their own ingredients that are beneficial to help detoxify your GI tract. So try to increase the amount of fruits and vegetables. Then lastly, try to minimize stress and get some good rest. People, don't, uh, people really underestimate the effect that stress has on your overall health and your gut health as well. And that's in addition to sleep as well. Whenever you're stressed, Whenever you lose sleep, it does cause actual inflammation, which is legitimate and there is good medical evidence behind that. So find ways to decrease stress, whether it's meditation, exercise, stepping away, and see what you can do to get better rest. Try to eliminate your iPhone at night, try to have a routine, sleep to at least get seven, eight hours per night. These are, these are very simple things that you can do to get rid of toxins on your own so you don't have to use something like a colon cleanse to try to get rid of things that which you can do naturally. So in summary, colon cleanse really is a necessary procedure. You do not need to get it done. Your body will get rid of toxins naturally. There's no clinical evidence to suggest that this actually has some benefits to your GI tract and actually can cause complications which are severe and can be life-threatening as well. And what you can do is have a diet that's high in fibers, do lifestyle modification, increase your fruits and vegetables, and try to help out with your sleep and minimize stress. Now before you do anything, make sure you consult with your healthcare provider before starting a new regimen, whether you try to do new things as well, because it's important to get healthcare advice from somebody who actually knows what's going on inside your health. So my question for you guys, have you ever tried a colon cleanse or do you know somebody who's tried it? What has been their response? Has it helped out with them? Comment down below. I would love to hear if you guys have actually tried it or you know somebody who's tried it down below. Even on the repost, comment down below. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Every Tuesday, I do a Facebook Live and every Thursday, I do a Poop Tip Thursday. I would encourage you to follow me on social media. Click the like button. Click the thumbs up button. Follow me. And we can get more and more videos about what you can do about your gut health. Thanks and take care. Have a great day. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. For more videos, or if you want to subscribe to my YouTube page, click the like button. I have more information about your gut health as well. Thanks and take care. Colon cleansing. Trying to cleanse out the colon, get rid of all the uh, the bad stuff and the uh, the. I guess the crap that's in there. Colon cleanse. Get rid of the stuff.